Hello, I'm Dane Anthony. A Victorian monument in North Wildwood, the Hereford Inlet Lighthouse, has been scanning the sky since 1874. And award-winning gardens are a treat at ground level. Hi, I'm Peter Harp, and I am the official honorary lighthouse keeper at Hereford Inlet, and I'd like to talk to you for a moment about the lighthouse. This lighthouse is a operational lighthouse, still maintained the light maintained by the Coast Guard, and it was opened in 1874. It's the only Victorian lighthouse on the East Coast. There were a series of lighthouses up and down the coast, and the lighthouses were designed for ships to use as navigational waypoints as they sailed up and down the coast. The brightest light on the island, the first building on the island was the lighthouse, so it was in the brightest light. And you would sail up the coast and say, I know where I am, there's Cape May Point, there's Hereford Inlet, up there was a light in Sea Island, you could see all these lights and you know right where you are. So in 1924, they mechanized the light by putting a large mechanism, and you can see that light downstairs, that's a fourth order lens, and sometimes the pirates were down here, this is just a story, but the pirates along the coast would light fires, they would think it was a beacon, they'd sail up to the, what they thought was a light and, and run up on the beach and then they would take all the stuff off the ship. They said that the women on the coast had newer fashions than the women in Philadelphia back in the 1700s because of the pirates. Blue skies above, greenery below, there's plenty to see at the Hereford Inlet Lighthouse. Bye. <laughs>